welcome to DOS Geek. So I found this really cool tool I wanted to share with you. Maybe you already knew about it, but just in case you didn't, our clone and our clone browser is the tool I'm talking about here. And this allows you to basically sync files and directories, no matter what the service is from think from cloud services like Nextcloud, like DigitalOcean, uh, their spaces, the Dropbox and OneDrive. And I'm gonna set up OneDrive because I get a lot of questions from people who are migrating over to Linux that have that free OneDrive space, either because they bought Office 365, maybe they get it through the work, they got a terabyte sitting there, they wanna use it hopefully for non-personal things, because I'll get into Microsoft's privacy policy in a second. There's a lot to be desired, but this R clone tool is the answer to that problem. This is gonna allow you to mount those folders into your file manager and access those files really easily. I really, really love this tool. So go into your package manager. I'm an MX Linux, so I'm an MX package installer. If you're an Arch, you can use Pac-Man or whatever you use to install files. And I'm gonna install our clone in our clone browser here. And once those are installed, then we're just going to go and open up our clone browser and we're going to set up OneDrive. So now that those two programs are installed, let's go ahead and open our clone browser up. And you can see we got this nice GUI, very simple, very clean. And we're gonna click config and it's going to give us an option to set up a new remote connection. We're gonna name it OneDrive in this case, cause that's what we're setting up. And remember how you named it. Then it's gonna give us that list, like you see on the website on the right of different services that we can set up, Dropbox, Google Cloud, whatever you want. And we're gonna look for Microsoft OneDrive, which is number 17 here. So that's the number I'm gonna type in to let it know that's what I'm setting up. It's going to ask to enter a string value. We can leave that default and just hit enter. We can hit enter again, advanced config. If you want to, you can go through that. I'm gonna click no, or I'm gonna let it auto config. So I'm gonna click yes. So it's gonna do all the configuration. It's gonna open a browser. This is where I'm gonna authenticate that this is my account. It's gonna set it up. Now it's gonna ask me, is this a personal account? Is this SharePoint? What kind of site is it? Well, it's OneDrive personal. So I'm gonna choose number one. And then it's gonna say, is this the drive you wanna use out there? I'm gonna put zero, cause that's the only option I have there. And it's again, going to set up a token connection which I have blurred out here and I'm gonna say, yes, I'm gonna accept that token. And then I can quit out of here and boom, OneDrive appears over in our own our clone browser. And you can see that's my OneDrive files right there, available for me to, I can mount from here. I can go up and click mount. I can download from here. I can do those things from the browser or I can set it up so that it auto mounts when my system reboots, which we'll do that here in a moment as well. We can we can mount this in our file system using this command here, but we have an error. So first we need to create a folder we're gonna mount our OneDrive to. So let's right click, create new folder, and I'm gonna name it OneDrive so that it matches this command that I have, which will be out there at doskeekcommunity.com under brain dump, under rando tips and tricks. So once you put that command in, you might as well create a bash script out of it so here is a bin bash and that same command so that every time we reboot, it's gonna automatically mount this folder. So we got that to work. Now we've got this bash script that we've set up. We're gonna save this file. Then we've got to make it executable. So I'm gonna save it in my home folder. If you like to save your bash scripts in other places, you can do that. Um, but I'm gonna save it as OneDrive mount.sh. Then I got to make it executable. So I'm right click on it through the GUI permissions, allow executing file as a program if you want, or you can do it through the terminal. I know you might already be in the terminal. You may not want to mess with the GUI. You're just going to go to your navigate to where your folder is in chmod plus X in that bash script. That's going to give it executable rights. So now we can just add script. We can add our bash file here that we created, click okay. Every time our computer reboots now, it's gonna execute that script and automatically mount OneDrive. And you can see it there in Dolphin, that OneDrive folder that I have there. So that is how you easily set up our clone in our browser. Now, I suggest if you're using that OneDrive space to look through Microsoft's privacy uh, statement here because it leaves some to be desired. You can see they collect a lot of data um, directly with your interactions. Many of the products require your personal information for setup. And some of this is pretty standard and obvious that, you know, they need to get some data to know you're logging into their service and things, but like, you know, why do they collect your data? Well, provide products and troubleshooting. That seems okay. But then 
advertise and market to you. I'm not so much into that part of it. So again, you put things out there, pictures and stuff, facial recognition, you know, it's up to you and your personal preferences and carrying out these person. We combine data we collect from different contexts. So you've got that to worry about as well. They obtain from third parties to take more information and put it all together. So they start learning a lot about you the more you put out in services like this. So while our clone can be used for any of these cloud services, you may want to be careful in which ones you choose to share your data with. They talk about here, uh, we share personal data with your consent to complete any transaction or provide any product. We also share data with Microsoft controlled affiliates and subsidiaries with vendors working on their behalf as well. So, I mean, like I said, I, if I use OneDrive with my free space that I get, and I put things that absolutely I would put out there in the public anyways to share with people. I wouldn't put privacy things. That's my personal preference. And then you open their page to where you have a choice to opt out and it's unable to connect, which I found kind of humorous here. So um, that visiting the opt out page uh, apparently is a dead end. Maybe they put it all into their privacy dashboard now. I have no idea. But in any case, the point is, our clone in our browser is a really cool option. If you have that free space out there and you need to access it, for instance, I put some of my logos for the show art and things like that on OneDrive, but it's your choice. You can put whatever you want out there. You can use the services you want. Our clone will help you whether those services are truly private or their services, maybe where you're just putting random data dumps in there. Isn't MX19 AHS beautiful? I think it's quite gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed the video. Our clone and our browser are awesome. Let me know in the comments below if you've used them. Check out destinationlinux.network. I also have a new podcast out there called Hardware Addicts. A huge thanks to DigitalOcean for sponsoring this channel. So head to digitaloceanco slash DLN. That's do.co slash DLN. Until next time, fill your brains. Don't forget to stop. Right. And that comes up if you like this video.